Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of looking at random common and not so common objects through the microscope. Let's start uh, off today's episode with some sand. Also fun to mention by the way is uh, I got a request to use millimeter paper um, uh, which is a great idea. I don't have any yet so uh, what you're seeing right here is centimeter paper. Um, but you know, baby steps, baby steps. Anyway, let's go to a higher magnification and see what kind of interesting cool stuff we can see. Um, so let's focus. Well, what we see here is sand magnified by a bunch and well, to be honest, it looks kind of just like I expected. Yeah, um, I've seen some pictures of uh, sand magnified a whole lot and looked really cool and and stuff like that. But this is kind of disappointing, to be honest. It's still interesting. You can see uh, some structures clearly, and uh, but it, they just look like ri little rocks, which is honestly what I expected. So uh, let's look at this under the compound microscope as well, so we can get a higher magnification. So here's the sand under the compound microscope. Uh, it's backlit here and not uh, toplit uh, as with the stereo microscope. So anyway, um, let's uh, jump straight to a higher magnification. So, ooh, you do actually see some more interesting patterns on the grains of sand themselves, it's like algae and dirt and other stuff. Uh, maybe just uh, things in the rock uh, themselves of minerals something like that anyway um, I do think this is uh, somewhat interesting yeah so there are lots of different uh, grains of sand probably from lots of different types of rock and that's pretty much uh, all the cool interesting stuff I have to say about sand so anyway um, I think I might do this again in another episode, but with different sand, a uh, different type of sand. So let's see if that makes it better. Anyway, that's the sand for now. Okay, so another request was to look at some dead bugs. And what you see here is a wasp. Um, and it's in pretty bad shape. It's been lying in my windowsill for God knows how long. The inside is all uh, rotten away, but uh, you know, the outside is still okay. So let's see if we can see something interesting. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to tell you. You can just look for yourself as well. But um, this is the wasp. Let's go to a higher magnification. So what you can see clearly is that uh, the wasp has a lot of hairs, which is kind of neat. Um, and little droplets of something. That's maybe just water, probably. Um, and what I also uh, thought would be fun to do is to uh, whoa, look at one of the wings under the... Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Oops. Look at one of the wings under the compound microscope. Because as you can already see here from this terrible shot, um, is that it has some interesting features. It even has some hairs on top of the wing, which I actually didn't know, so that's new information uh, to me. Okay, so the abdomen uh, of this wasp, as you can see, has split in two, but I actually do have the other side still. Let's see if I can get it in, in frame. There it is. And as you can also hopefully see, if I can focus, is that it still has its sting right there so well let's see if we can do something fun with that at a higher magnification of course oh it's gone oh no help okay focus again almost almost in, in frame right there as you can see it has little hooks on the end of the stings so it sticks inside whatever poor animal it chooses to sting. Maybe I can uh, 
tear it out and we can look at it under the compound microscope but also maybe not. So what you're seeing here is the wing of the wasp, more specifically the place where the wing is attached to the abdomen. No, not the abdomen, the middle part. I forgot the name. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so let's uh, look at this at a higher magnification. And ooh, that is pretty. Um, let's focus. Yeah, I don't really know what to tell you here, so let's look at the wing itself. So here's a part of the wing and let's magnify. So as you can see, it is covered in little hairs, which is pretty cool. Um, and these are the, the veins, if you will, of the wing. And this is magnified even more. Because of the very very shallow depth of field you can't see a lot at the same time which is unfortunate but still this is like really cool at least I think. So well, here's the sting of the wasp unfortunately um, while dissecting the wasp and taking the sting out uh, I'm afraid I accidentally uh, broke all the hooks so failed experiment I guess. Okay, so another request was that I look at my uh, hands and skin under the microscope. So here you can see the, the nail of my middle finger. Uh, by the way, I didn't intend to give you the finger, so let's switch to my index finger. Um, and well, as you can see, it's, uh, it's not pretty. <laughs> it's just not pretty. Uh, and I don't have gross nails or anything, but... Um, everything is uh, just more gross magnified so here's the skin of my uh, finger and uh, let's switch to the back of my hand if we can f get it into focus um, yeah it's a uh, pretty rough terrain uh, I uh, purposefully didn't moisturize my hands just for you so that's something uh, anyway, you can see that my skin is pretty flaky. It's really my hand is just really dry too. It's always only my right hand that's really dry, not my left hand. I don't know why, but but uh, that's just the problem I face every winter again. So, uh. but anyway, here's the back of my hand. Um, yeah, it's 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 not 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 really nice to look at. Um, let's see if we can go. Uh, to an even higher magnification. The problem too with filming your own hand is that the thing you're looking at under the microscope isn't sitting still at all so um, I fixed uh, my camera so I'm not holding my camera with my hands anymore so that shake is over but now the thing I'm actually trying to look at is shaky so you never win. So let's take a look at my finger too. Um, these are my fingerprints um, if you're a tech guy, really smart, please don't steal them because I wouldn't be happy. Um, and you can clearly see the sweat pores. Um, so all the shi shiny things you see are droplets of sweat coming out of my finger actually. So that's pretty cool. This is what your finger looks like, magnified by a bunch of times. Very common and also a bit random. If you want to see my other more sweaty fingers, here's my ring finger. Yep, that's sweaty. Let's see if I can hold it still for a moment. Just for a moment. Uh, a little. Ooh, that's sweaty. Okay, next. Another request was to look at an orange, but I didn't have an orange, so a lemon will have to do. Um, well, magnif a magnified lemon just looks like a, a lemon that's magnified, pretty much. It's not uh, not a, another secret dimension when you magnify it a bunch of times. Um, let's look at some damaged skin parts that may be interesting. Ah, that's cool. This is the little thingy on the bottom of the lemon. This is the top thingy of the lemon. But what I didn't tell you is that this is actually a special lemon because this lemon has a burn mark. 
Yes, that's right. I held this lemon um, next to a candle for a few minutes and then let it sit for about a week. So you get this uh, interesting pattern. And uh, it honestly uh, reacted quite well, I think. it's. I, I haven't cut it open, but I, it looks like the inside is still perfectly fine. So the uh, part where it was burnt has dried out and uh, caved in a lot. But the uh, the rest of the lemon is still perfectly fine. And uh, well, I just uh, thought that was uh, an interesting little thing to share. You know, it's fun to uh, hold uh, fruits like uh, tangerines and oranges and lemons uh, next to a flame because all these little holes you see in the skin of the lemon um, yep. those are actually filled with oil so if you hold an, a lemon next to a flame the oil will come out and make a cool sparkly effect um, I advise to uh, take an, a peel though and just squish it uh, that works way better Okay, so this is a perfect example of horrible microscopic slide uh, making. You can uh, already see that there are plant cells present. Now, um, what's interesting is that I don't see any nuclei. And um, I don't know if there are supposed to be nuclei in the small onion thingy that I grabbed. But um, there aren't any. So, or at least I don't see any. Maybe they're really, really small. Well, hold on. This actually is a nucleus. What I like to uh, show here is that you can see plant cells in plants even if you don't buy a prepared microscopic slides but make them yourself. And, you know, it's really clear too, so that's cool. Anyway, that uh, was the last thing I wanted to look at for today. Someone suggested that I should make a small segment in the video where I show you something magnified by a whole lot, but I don't tell you what it is. And then you guys have to guess what it is. And the winner... Um, well, I guess I'll pin the winner's comment. Or I should say whoever guesses it first. Um, so that's pretty much uh, the game so this is the end of the video thank you very much for watching and uh, stay safe